Hey guys, Leif here from uh, ATAC Office Technology. Today I would like to uh, show you how to print on banner paper using the new Konica and Minolta multifunction biz hubs. This is the uh, biz hub C754, uh, so it works on the same on all the all the four series, all the new series. And uh, this is the uh, banner paper. So a couple of things we need to do to prepare to print this. So I'm just going to put that banner paper down. And if you come a bit closer, the first thing we need to do is to go on the uh, utility screen. And we've got number six there, banner printing. So I'm going to press that one and I'm going to select allow and OK. And that basically uh, puts the uh, printer into banning, banner printing mode, if you like. So the message is there now that it's a uh, waiter for the banner print job to come through. So we're now ready to start preparing the banner. And um, if you have a look uh, over here, uh, on my laptop now, I've prepared uh, this uh, file earlier. What I've used is um, I've just created a blank uh, new document in Publisher. And uh, the important thing to note there is that when I create that blank uh, document, I go into the page design and I set the uh, page setup size. And the size of this document is in centimeters. It need, needs to be 102 centimeters by 29.7 centimeters. So I set that up in there, hit OK. You can actually download a uh, publisher template, banner template from our website as well, if you find that easier. So that's just a blank uh, template. Uh, then I've uh, put on the images or whatever to design the banner. And once we're ready to print that, we'll go to File and Print. And we'll go into the uh, Printer Properties. And the important bit to note here for printing banner is that you see this original size here. It normally defaults to A4 or whatever your normal size is. You gotta scroll down to the bottom here and you gotta select custom size. So I'll select custom size there. And uh, here we need to reflect the same the size of the banner. So I've typed in, I've got it in millimeters here and uh, I'll put in 297 meter millimeters wide by 1020 in length. So type that in there, hit OK, and uh, we're basically ready to print. So I'm gonna hit OK on there, and go into my print preview. Just one note on there, if, you, if the preview doesn't look right, make sure that you've got this setting here where it says one page per sheet. Sometimes that would be set as tiled, but select your one page per sheet. Then we'll hit print and we'll go back to the printer and we can see what's happening. Uh, it should now start receiving the uh, print job. It takes a little while uh, obviously to process that through. We've now got the, the blinking light on there. And uh, it's now receiving a print job. And the next step is now to uh, insert the uh, banner paper. So I'm just going to wait for that uh, to receive the print job. There we go. It now says to load paper into the bypass tray. So I've got my banner paper over here. I'm going to feed that, so I'll pull out the, uh, the bypass tray or the manual feed tray and feed that banner paper into there. This complete button lights up, so I'm going to press complete. And we're now starting to print the banner paper. Let that feed through there. And let's see what comes out. And 
and uh, look at that. Works first time every time. Thanks for watching.